Hey everyone, this is Ashley here from the Ecosystem Restoration Camps Foundation and this is the update video for May and June 2020. So things at the camps have been slow in regards to people coming because of coronavirus, which is totally understandable. They're starting to pick up again now. We have our first camp experience at Camp Altiplano. Starting in October, you can look at the website to find out more about it, but it's a workshop that focuses on the regeneration of yourself as well as the regeneration of the land and it works with Joanna Macy's Joanna Macy's work of uh, facing the future with love and courage. So I really recommend that you check that out if you're interested in going to a camp in the autumn in Europe. Uh, we also wanted to share with you that the online course is going incredibly well. The students are now on module two, they're learning about agro ecosystems. Um, and last week was agroforestry, this week is holistic grazing. We're also gearing up for next year, for January 2021, which is when the next course will start. And we are already very excited about the number of people who've registered their interest. There are 200 spaces for this next iteration and we already have 145 people registered as interested. Uh, so if you do want to take the course next year, then I recommend you go on to Gaia Education's website we'll put a link in this video and you can register your interest for next year and the registrations to pay when sign up will be open on the second week of July next week very exciting uh, some of the students from the course have already been implementing what they have been learning on their own land one of our students is restoring and rehabilitating a very degraded desertified landscape in Morocco where he is building gabions and other water retention earthwork structures such as ponds and dams in order to slow down any water that does run through the land to stop further erosion and to allow the water to sink into the ground and this is one of the key ways to reverse desertification you have to make sure that any water that does fall stays there and it was amazing to see him interacting with Neil Spackman and other teachers in the course so far who have been doing this sort of work. And it's incredible to see it's already being implemented, which is really exciting. We have received 33 new camp applications and we've been going through them. There are applications from all over the world. And over the next month, we'll be getting in touch with a lot of these applicants partner projects to find out more about them and see if they are a good fit to become a camp. I've been working a lot on exactly what our offerings are to camps and what we need in return in order to share their story um, specifically to do with communications content and data. In terms of the camps themselves that we already have on board, Camp Utai Forest has been working hard on planting lots of trees with 20 local villagers. They've planted 1,991 trees so far since the rain started in April. And they have been planting, they're creating a new edible forest where they are. So they've been planting native tree species that they've been growing themselves in their nursery but then also getting free from the Thai government to make up the different tier levels of the, their new forest so that's really exciting and they're going to continue with this planting over the next few months. Uh, we've been raising money with Camp Contour Lines to create new agroforests there on 10 hectares of land that's been highly degraded by the way that the villagers have been farming before, which is to cut down virgin rainforest and plant monocultures of corn. And to clear the rainforest, they've been burning it. So highly destructive way of farming and what Camp Contour Lines is doing is helping them transition to a much more regenerative form 
of food growing which resembles a tropical forest but all of the species are edible or most of them. Uh, they want to plant 37,700 trees with the 10,000 euros that we're raising for them. Uh, and this will drastically improve the food, food sovereignty and security and income streams of 2,500 villagers. Absolutely incredible project. So if you want to take part in this regenerative transition, in the world of agriculture now, which is happening, it's really exciting. It's the great work of our time, as John says, then go to our website and, and contribute towards this incredible change that we so sorely need. More exciting news is that we have our 501c3 registered, which is a legal entity in the US which means that we can receive tax deductible donations from US donors. And seeing as the US is one of the biggest philanthropic communities in the world, it's really exciting that we have this new legal entity because it will make receiving donations from the US much more straightforward, which is really cool. Also an update from Camp Hotlam in California. They are making sure that they're doing as much as they can to try and reduce fire risk seeing as right now it's fire season in california and they're in a place that's very degrade the forest is very degraded and highly susceptible to wildfires so what they're doing is they're removing um the old dead trees that are most likely to catch a light and they are surveying them um, they're surveying the trees in the area to see how many there are, which species, what their ages are. And then the dead trees that they're removing, they're then turning into biochar and inculcating that into the soil, which increases water retention capacity. And it also increases, it's, it creates spaces for the microbes in the soil to live, and as, as well as giving them food. It charges the ground with carbon, which makes it more retentive to water and reduces fire risk that way as well. So right on the front lines, Camp Hotlam, thank you so much for everything you're doing. And we've had an update from Camp Mundo Nuevo and they've been planting, they planted uh, lots of trees in an area that was covered in invasive elephant grass with campers in February. And we've received some photos from them showing that the trees that they've been planting are now several feet tall. So that's what happens when you plant in the tropics, everything grows really quickly. So look out on our social media for updates about that. Lots of exciting things going on. Please remember if, if you're touched, inspired by this work and you want to be involved, become a member because mo our members are really foundational to what we do. And it's a really great way to take part in this restoration that's happening around the world, this regenerative transition as Sean from Camp Contour Line says. Uh, so many ways to be part of ecosystem restoration camps, so please get involved and uh, see you next time. Thanks very much.